Fairy Fun for Flyers by Karen Saxby. Published by Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyright. CD1. Wishes. Listen. I have an uncle who writes books for children. I didn't see my uncle very often when I was a child because he lived in Africa, but he came to see us sometimes. When he did visit us, he usually told me one of his stories. I loved them all, but Ben's wishes was my favorite. My uncle told it to me one winter when it was very cold outside. I was about ten, I think. A boy called Ben had two older brothers. The older boys often felt hungry. And often got angry because they were so poor. Go and work in the fields, they said to Ben each morning. Dig, Dig up some vegetables. Make us some soup for dinner. Ben always answered in the same way. But I want to go to school and learn all about the world. The brothers just laughed and said, "Don't be silly. You aren't clever enough to go to school like us." So Ben didn't go anywhere. He just worked in the fields in the rain, digging and planting, and planting. And digging. One very cold morning, Ben was planting some onions when he saw an old silver cup on the ground. Ah! He picked it up, sat down under a tree, and cleaned it with his scarf. <sighs> Then, very carefully. He put it down on the grass next to his bag. <clears throat> ben was tired and wanted something to eat, but he only had one small sandwich in his bag. He took it out, looked at the cup, and said, "I'm lucky to have this sandwich, but I'd like a lovely warm drink." Suddenly, the silver cup was full of hot chocolate. Ben was very surprised. He drank it all, but he still felt cold. He looked down at his old jacket and at the cup again, and said, "I'm lucky to have a jacket, but there are hundreds of holes in it." I wish, I wish, I could have a new coat. A beautiful coat made of wool suddenly appeared from somewhere in the sky. Now Ben was really surprised. He put it on. It felt soft and warm. Then he opened a small book that belonged to one of his brothers. Ben looked at the cup one more time and said, "I'm lucky to have this book with me today, but I'd like a hundred new books so I can learn all about the world, please." Suddenly. A hundred new books fell from between the leaves in the tree above him. Uh, whoa! <laughs> ben couldn't believe it. 
He felt so lucky. <laughs> he laughed and laughed, put the old cup in his pocket, carried the books home, sat down by the fire, and read them all. <sighs> when Ben's older brothers came home, they were really angry. Where's our dinner? Where's our vegetable soup? They shouted. Ben looked up and said, I found an old cup in the field today. I think it understands about wishes. It gave me hot chocolate, a warm coat and a hundred new books to read. I've learned all about the world and all the animals that live in our world too. If you want your dinner, just ask the silver cup for it. The two older brothers looked at Ben's new coat, his new books and the silver cup on the table. One of them picked it up. He got very angry. We have a wish too. Give us our dinner. We want it this minute, he said. The empty bowls were suddenly full of vegetable soup. The brothers couldn't believe it. Cup, the oldest brother shouted. Give me a room full of money. Give me more money than my brother and a room full of sweets, the other brother said. Suddenly, there were sweets and money everywhere. The brothers began to fight. Give me that cup, one shouted. No, the other one said. It's mine. It's not yours. Give it to me. The cup fell on the ground and broke. <gasps> and all the sweets, the money, the vegetable soup, Ben's warm coat and his hundred new books disappeared. They were nowhere in the house. I felt very sad when my uncle told me that part of the story. But then he added, But the cup couldn't make all the stories about the world disappear from Ben's head. And when Ben was a man, he visited all the countries in the world and wrote lots of stories about the animals and people people who lived there to tell to children. I never knew my uncle's first name. I just called him Uncle. Perhaps, just perhaps, it was Ben. D Listen and colour and draw. One. Can I do some colouring in this picture? Yes, of course you can. Can you see the frog? The one by the door? Yes. Shall I colour it blue? Well, that's a strange colour, but yes, you can do that. Now, please colour the big fork. Can you see it? Yes. Does Ben sometimes use that in the fields? That's right. He digs with it. Colour it brown. 
Okay. Three. I'd like to colour Ben's face. Can I do that? Yes. What colour do you want to use for that? Well, I've got a pink pencil in my hand. All right. That's a good colour. Four. Colour the fire next. Shall I make it orange? No. Colour it red, please. All right. I'll do that now. Five. And can I draw something here too? I think Ben needs a spoon. Why? Because he's going to make some soup, I think. OK. Draw one on the table. Then colour it green. OK.